I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw James Armistead, a Revolutionary War Patriot. I take three fingers right at the top in the middle and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, I'm going to draw a curve line up, straight line down, curve line in, and leave it floating. I come back to the dot towards the left and I go curve line up, down, out, in, and connect. I come right above my dot and I'm just going to draw wavy, 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 wavy line down on the right. Come back up, wavy, wavy, wavy line down, on, connect on the left. I come inside and I draw a curved line on the left and a curved line on the right. I come right here in the center and I draw a straight diagonal. Curve line out, leave a space, curve line, curve line up. I come straight down, let's put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw curve line up, over, on the right, back to the dot, curve line up, over, to the left. I come right here where I stopped, and I draw a curve line over, and I'm going to leave it floating. I come inside and I just draw another curved line and I leave that floating also. I come up here on the left and I draw a curved line up, over, connect on the left, curved line up, over, connect on the right. Come back to the left, curve line, curve line, come on the right, curve line, curve line. Now, starting over here on the left, I'm just going to draw curve line out, curve line in, connect, come on the right hand side, curve line down, curve line in, connect. Come back to the right, sorry, come back to the left. Right where we stop, we're just going to draw a little curve line out, curve line down, curve line over, curve line up and connect. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect. Come on the right. We're going to draw a curve line out, up, connect. Come back to the left. Curve line down, curve line down. Right about here we draw one, two baby circles. Okay. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this picture of James Armistead is when he is in his later years, so they have gray hair, kind of silver white. So we're just going to take our gray crayon and loop-de-loop -loop this space all the way up, down, and around. Some of you might have silver. You could put a little bit of silver in there if you want. But gray will work just as well. Next, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to give the space above his eyes a little bit of a black up, down, up, down so that his he has a little bit more texture. And I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color the inside of this space on the left, the inside of this space on the right. Next, I'm going to take my brown. Now some of you might have multicultural crayons and have a face color that you want to use. He is African American, but if you use brown this works just fine. And I'm going to bring it down, up, and around. And we'll talk about why he's such an important African-American patriot 
A lot of people don't know that they were here and totally involved in the Revolutionary War. And he's a great example of that. Okay, so I go ahead and I give him a coat of brown. Then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to trace my space of my lips a little bit darker brown. And now I can color this in too. Okay? A little bit darker. Then I go back and I get my gray and I'm going to give him a little bit of a shaved, not shaved look. A little bit of a beard, but just lightly underneath and above. Okay? Then he was, this is 1700s, so he's wearing a real simple, this is white, 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 but this is his coat, which is now a dark blue, and this is dark blue, his jacket. And they're voluminous. That means it's a lot of material. And this is blue. Yeah, big, big jackets on. Crisp white linen shirts. And you'll see in just a moment. They had um, metal, copper, bronze buttons. So that's all blue. Then you take your yellow and this can be his buttons. Now to show that this is creased, I'm going to take my black and I'm just going to put some little lines there so you know it's not all just white. Then, to finish off the background, I'm taking my yellow-green and I'm filling in the background. Pretty simple, but he is very, very important. We'll talk about that once we look and see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is James Armistead. He was an enslaved person. He served in the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War under the Marquis de Lafayette. He received a legislative emancipation, so he was free, and he was a spy. He traveled easily because everybody thought he was a runaway slave. An important African-American. Okay, bye-bye.